take your seat today. We want to thank you all for being here for this memorial service for our dear beloved sister, Sandra Bland. And I just want to speak briefly to the family and to the assembly that God spoke this word to me. And I will share it with you tonight. God told me today when I had some unanswered questions and some concerns about why we're standing and sitting here tonight. And God spoke this. He said, I did this. Mm -hmm. So the message to you tonight is, if you have that question in your mind, why? God said, I did it. This was the Lord's doing. And it was marvelous in his eyes. She said, now I know what my purpose is. Listen to me. The media get my statement right to be wrong. I'm telling them this. Yes. Yes. The girl's statement, verbatim, mom, now I know what my purpose is. She said, mom, now I know what my purpose is. Is. My purpose is to go back to Texas. My purpose Come on, wow. is to stop all social injustice in the South. It is Wednesday, April 8th, 2015. Hopefully you are out there or were out there this morning doing something productive successful, something that is going to help establish your kingdom and queendom. Today, Sandy Speaks is going to focus directly on my white people. White people, yes, black people know that all lives matter. But what I need you guys to understand is that being a black person in America is very, very hard. Although you all love to say, oh, nobody should see race, people are the reason that racism is still alive. Well, what kind of people are the reason? Black racists have no power, whereas white racists do. They have power because they are in positions of control or they're in positions where they can influence the control over black people. Yes, that is very true. Black lives matter. They matter. Our media is showing you, obviously they don't. So for y'all that can sit around and say all lives matter, I want you to go put it on a poster and stand out on a corner somewhere. If we can get enough white people to show that all lives matter, maybe they'll stop killing our black brothers. Because obviously that's what it's going to take for the white people to get up and get tired of black people saying black lives matter. So if y'all want it to stop, you get out there and do something about it. Show me in American history where all lives have mattered. Show me where there has been liberty and justice for all. White people, if all lives mattered, would there need to be a hashtag for black lives mattering? Think about that. Just truly think about that. Yes, black on black crime numbers are extremely high. Yes, they are, but that is because there are uneducated people who are hell-bent on self-extermination. I am not one of them. I am into building up my kings and queens. So for me, black lives matter. And then subset, all lives matter. Take it or leave it. Sandy speaks.